I'm guessing by the time I'm completely done, I'm not gonna be, oh, I, I already can't move my cheeks. Wow, it's been such a long time, but I was sitting down and I was about to film a Catwoman look. And I mean, I have the mask for Catwoman, but I decided that instead of just putting that mask over, I'm going to paint the mask. And instead of just painting the mask, I'm going to rhinestone it completely. Yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I hope I have enough rhinestones. So yeah, let's get started. So the beginning of this video, I'm gonna keep it very normal. We're gonna go through a quick way to go through the eyes and a little bit of skin. I'm going to start with a pencil. I'm going to map out the shape that I want. You're just going to blend it all out with a brush. This is just an outline for where you want your eyeshadow to go. So we're gonna blend it out about that. Don't blend it completely out because you still wanna see the shape. And then taking a black, oh my God. <laughs> And then taking a black shadow, we're gonna start working it into the eyelid. So once you have this and you know the shape that you're going with, you're gonna fill the entire eye with black shadow. We're gonna take a white shade here and then I wanna blend out the edges. Taking that white shadow, we're just going to blend out the edges. Not too much, because I kind of like the graphic liner look a little bit, but just a little bit so we can soften it. So see now it's a bit softer, it's just got that soft edge, it's kind of looking blurred at the end. We're gonna use this blue shade right over here. We're gonna pop it right on the top. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see it in the same intensity as I can, because sometimes the camera messes up. Oh my God, it's so pretty. All right, so these are the lashes I'm gonna put on. I can't remember what brand they are, but they are really like flared out at the ends and I cut them a little bit, so I'm gonna apply them right towards the end. Now it's going to seem weird because I will actually do base makeup. My reasoning for it, I'm going to be sticking glue, lash glue, and then putting rhinestones on them. When you remove them, even with like an oil remover, they still kind of tug at your skin. So I feel like if you have foundation, you have a little bit of a layer, then it's tugging like a mixture of like a layer of the foundation off, not like a layer of your skin off, if that kind of makes sense. I mean, I guess you don't have to do it. This part is kind of boring, so I'm gonna speed it up for you. Basically what I did was I took some concealer and I did highlight underneath. Then I did a tiny bit of contour where needed, blended out the concealer, added some foundation, blended that out as well, sprayed, and then of course cooled it down, and then powder, and we were done with the base. Then I decided that, okay, I'm gonna use the mask to map out the outline of where I wanted the rhinestones to go. The problem was the mask didn't really give me the look that I wanted, so I decided to just freehand it. So I took an eyebrow pencil, this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade, and I used the ink stain part just because it's easier than using like a very heavy eyeliner that's harder to remove if you mess up. So I did that and I just outlined the whole shape. I'm going to map out where her stitches are and I will rhinestone the stitches first and then I think it'll be easier to rhinestone the rest. Cool, with all the base stuff done and the sketching outlined, it was now time for the fun part, AKA the rhinestoning to begin. First rhinestone down. Ooh, let's time this. Let's see what time I start. Okay, it is 7.44, it is 7.44 right now. Let's see how long all of this takes. Hey, it's your narrator again. So I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more interesting than making you basically watch paint dry. So I took glue and I put glue on all the sticker parts. Then I took these really, really tiny little rhinestones and I placed them. The only problem was they kept falling off. Wait. Oh my God. Ah, they keep falling. Whoa. Okay, that looks kind of cool. I wonder if you can see it with the light. Oh my God. Oh, it's now 8.23. I'm not even done with the stitches yet. That's the short part. First mini crisis aside, I decided to get some soup, you know, get my energy back up because you need it when you rhinestone and then jump right back onto it. And right now my camera battery's dying. Oh. Batteries had changed, I had eaten, and I even had a conversation with my sister. And the stitches out. were done, so it was finally time to start doing the main part of the map. But I realized I didn't really map out everything accordingly. Should I have like black paint or black shadow underneath just in case there's gaps? I didn't even, I, 
I didn't even think of that. The easiest method that I could find around that issue was just to put some black eyeshadow on underneath so that it looked like it was still part of a mask instead of my skin underneath. The good thing about putting on these black ones, the beads are much bigger and I don't have to be as specific with them. Oh wait, okay wait. So I started these beads 941. One thing that I definitely learned throughout this whole experience was that you need to have an abundance of like, patience because these rhinestones and will then like just fine. continue to fall. Oh my god, I've dropped so many rhinestones. My floor has so many rhinestones. I hope I have enough rhinestones. Ooh, that was satisfying. There is something so satisfying about just being able to like pick up a gemstone and then just boop, just placing it just sticks and then you move on. Those little ones, you you just sit there and you just try to stick them on. And if it's like the glue is too tacky, it's not gonna stick on and it just falls off and they're so little and they're so hard to pick up. <laughs> we'll see. These big ones, they're literally going by so much faster, but there's also way more area to cover with these. My experience with the black rhinestones was actually going really, really well. They were going on much faster. Um, I did have some weird occurrences like I, this. I don't know how to describe this because I do lots of rhinestone looks on my face very often. This feels heavy like my face feels heavy and then also uh, at this point of rhinestoning I had finally started to talk to myself a lot and when I mean talking a lot I got onto some pretty weird and strange topics some that maybe people talk about and some that I don't think many people talk about it is now hitting me that I've never I've never rhinestoned my nose before and you know what? It's, it's an interesting experience. I'm guessing by the time I'm completely done, I'm not gonna be, well, I, I already can't move my cheeks. I'm probably not gonna be able to move my face very much. Hopefully the pictures come out well. I wanna go ghost hunting and maybe I can hear like a voice or something, but if any of that stuff happens in my house where I live, no, no. Definitely not. I am not. I am too much of a chicken. I do not deal with ghosts. I do not deal with noises. If I hear one noise in the night, I am up and I so quickly put on my headphones and put something on YouTube to watch because no, I do not deal with any of that. But it is fun to watch. So there's like some things in life that I know I can't do. For example, and I hope this is never, ever, 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 ever a scenario. If there is ever a scenario where there is a zombie apocalypse, zombies, anything to do with zombies, I'm not gonna make it. I have no use in a zombie movie. I can't run, first of all, can't run. Definitely not very fast. I'm not the best cook and I can't cook a lot of things, so there's that. I am not very aggressive, so I cannot win in a fight. I get grossed out really easily. I can't even go into public bathrooms sometimes. I don't even want to know what a bathroom situation is going to be like in the apocalypse. I wear glasses and contacts, and if I can't get to those, I'm going to be blind. There's no part of me that is built for a zombie apocalypse at all. Me, in any kind of zombie, or any kind of apocalypse situation for that matter, I'm not going to I'm not gonna cut it. I can sit in my house on a Saturday night and rhinestone my face. Sure. But a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> no. For the people that I'd be with would be just like, really? Really? No, just leave her behind. That's where I'm at at that matter. It took me about an hour and a half to get through almost half of my face with the rhinestones and I was loving it, but I was still experiencing weird things with my face. Wait, my forehead's itchy right where I put the rhinestones, like right here. I don't know why it's itching. Uh... Hey, it's other me again. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit because unless you guys want to watch what is the equivalent of paint drying, I am going to kind of run through and cut these part out a little bit. But pretty much I was really enjoying this rhinestoning part. There's just a satisfaction when you like put one of these on and it sticks because like sometimes they don't stick right where you put them on or they start like slipping or whatever. But once they stay, oh, so satisfying. You can tell this was getting to the last bits of it because this whole time I was just in focus mode. I was just concentrating and running through these. And luckily they weren't falling out of my hands as much anymore either. I think this is more than halfway done actually. It looks cool, right? Why did I decide to do this? Why? During this whole process, periodically, I would put on the cat mask the way that I folded it to see where it would match up with the rhinestones. And then I would just make sure that I was doing everything correctly. And then the last stretch is just pure concentration, just pure focus to get this job done. With the rhinestoning of the mask finally complete, I decided 
to paint the rest of my body instead of rhinestone it. A, to save time, and B, because I don't think I had enough rhinestones, I'm sorry. And then um, I think I became a hypochondriac too because I was feeling things that I don't think were actually happening. I don't know if I should be concerned, but like some parts of my face kind of feel like a, a burning sensation. I don't, I don't even want to know how long this is gonna take to come off. The itching, burning sensation never felt again, so I don't know what that was all about. But I was all done with the painting. The Catwoman look is nearly complete. I need to add some white stitching across the body. I am so happy that I have this white paint because it came in so handy. I drew all the stitches with that, and I also drew on top of the hat as well with it. The time is now 12.11. I finally, finally made it onto my last step. So I decided to line my lips with like this dark purplish color and then on the inside use like a reddish color. The thing was, I ended up hating it. So I decided to change that over to the Fenty Beauty lip paint. Red because I hated the combination of the other two. <laughs> now that all the makeup was done, there was just one accessory that I was missing. Wait, I'm missing something. Ooh. So um, there is an explanation for why this happened. I took some black gloves and I, and I took some acr black acrylic nails that I had. I just put them on there. Don't do this. Oh no, I can't use my phone. With a lot of rhinestones and a few bad choices on gloves aside, we finally, finally made it to the end. This did not take as long as I thought it did, but I can't remember if I started at seven 45 or 720 or 645 or 620 the time is a blur to me all I can think about is just rhinestone and glue which is all on my floor right now but you know what this wasn't as bad as I thought it looks cool especially when you turn on the lights it looks really cool um so yeah I'm kind of glad that I did this don't do this to the gloves ever don't really expect any kind of consistency out of me I'll just probably throw in a few dumb videos here and there when I think about it and if you go out on Halloween have fun. Wait, I just realized you can't go out on Halloween. Um, whatever you do on Halloween, have some kind of fun. I don't know. Okay.